You're watching WECT News at 530. If it's summer, it's time for New York Times bestselling author Brad Thor to release another thriller. The new Scott Harvath adventure is called Deadfall, and it comes out on July 25th. And Brad Thor taking time from his schedule to join us once again. Brad, thank you. You're always so generous with your time. Thanks. Oh, John, I always love being on with you. So thank you for having me. And first off, congratulations. Got through this thank and you. tore through it. It is really a great read, packed from uh, the word go with action. And it really mirrors real life with Russia and Ukraine. Why choose that for the setting for Deadfall? Well, I got to tell you, I grew up reading things like Alistair MacLean, uh, Where Eagles Dare. I love Saving Private Ryan. And I always wanted to take my contemporary character and put him in a in a land war in Europe. And we've got one with Ukraine. I think it's a, I, it is a perfect setting to put in an American. Plus, I always like to have the odds stacked against him. And so essentially what this guy has to do to achieve the objective he's sent to do is he has to join the Ukrainian International Legion to go and rescue an American that's been taken hostage by the Wagner group. It's scary almost how much today's events have mirrored involving a splinter group of Russians to what happens in Deadfall. As those headlines started to happen, what's going through your mind? You know, I'm a big fan of the line from author Francis Fukuyama, which is that history doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. At the end of World War II, Hitler threw his worst SS battalion at the Warsaw Uprising. And these guys, much like the real life Russian mercenary organization, the Wagner Group, Hitler's SS battalion, this particular one, recruited from insane asylums and some of the worst prisons in Germany. And so there was a lot of what happened in kind of August to October in Poland, 1944, that I could see coming down the road with the Russians, that they were running men through the meat grinder of Ukraine. They were going to start picking up bad guys wherever they could find them and throw them into this war. So if anything, I was saying, oh my gosh, I'll be lucky to just hit the finish line with the headlines. I pride myself on beating the headlines. So there was a little bit of, uh, of nervousness with this book. Well, more than 20 years of Harvath adventures. Mm -hmm. Do you still get when you write that last word, do you still get the same feeling of excitement as you did after Lions of Lucerne or State of the Union or The Apostle or The Last Patriot that we mentioned earlier? It's a great thing. I've got the James Kahn thing when he was in misery. I break out the bottle of nice champagne. I don't do the cigarette, but I do. I'm not a smoker, but I'll have the champagne. Nothing will ever come close to finishing my very first novel because that was what I told my wife that I would regret never having done on my deathbed. And once I finished Lions of Lucerne, I knew that I would never go to the end of my life and say, how might it have been different if I'd only tried my hand at writing? So nothing ever comes close to that. It's like running your first marathon, climbing your first mountain, but it does feel good. Well, once again, Dead Fall will be available on July 25th, the 22nd book in the Scott Harvath series. Don't be surprised if Harvath's next trip is into the New York Times bestseller list, because as we said before, Brad Thor gets his mail there every summer. Brad, it's always good to talk to you. Appreciate you taking the time as well. And congratulations on another great read. Thanks for having me, John.